My name's Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor. I was a revenue officer uh, for over a decade. I've worked thousands and thousands of cases. And uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. They're short, they're sweet, and and to the point. And I welcome comments, and I can kind of expand on anything you need to know. Um, I like to pull the curtain back so you know what's going on on the IRS side. So today I want to talk to you about what happens if your bank account just got frozen what do you do? Well, you really don't need to panic. IRS will freeze your bank account for a period of 21 days. So the day the bank uh, received the levy, and you may want to get a copy of that levy to know when the 21 day starts, um, the bank holds that money. They don't give it to the Internal Revenue Service. They give you 21 days to call IRS and get, get, get it released. So what do you do as soon as you get that notice? Uh, you want to download an IRS Form 433F. That's the financial statement the service center will use. RO will use a 433A. Uh, when, they, when you uh, have that 433F, you're going to want to call who, the, the, um, the information on the IRS uh, levy. And they're going to want you to give them that financial statement with documentation documentation such as income, pay stubs, bank statements, and a copy of your expenses. IRS wants to use that to close your case. Uh, IRS wasn't trying to be mean or nasty. Nobody responded to IRS, so the only way to get their attention is to freeze, to freeze your bank account. Uh, I never wanted to send out a levy because I knew the harm that it was. So, you, you're the, so the bank is in possession of a 668A. That's the notice of levy. So what you want to do is call the number on there, uh, send the uh, get ready to send and fax the 433A along with the uh, copy of all your uh, your bank stuff, your bank statements, and copy of your expenses. Big thing that you need to know if if you're making more money than you think you need to be, IRS has a national standard program. That national standard program is brutal. IRS allows you only to live on a certain amount for food and clothing, a certain amount for housing and utilities, a certain amount for a car payment, and for, for gas and operating costs, and they are really tight. So if you call IRS and you're living on, on $5,000 a month, and IRS says you can only live on $4,000 a month, you're going to have to give IRS a thousand a month. So anyway, be prepared to give that information to IRS, and they'll usually put you into a currently non-collectible if you really can't pay, or a payment agreement. There's various payment agreements. So if you're in a quandary and you got a large amount, you should call us or your local uh, local representative that you know. Uh, but if you just don't have a lot, just call IRS. But prepared to give them that documented financial statement, really important. Also make sure all your tax returns are filed and you're current on your withholding or estimate payments. Uh, by the way, if you like my information, please like me, subscribe to me, you can hit that bell, and I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions you have about anything relating to IRS non-filing, filing, anything having to do with IRS or the Collection Division. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate your time.